Okay, guys, Mr. Arm Loaded back here again. Uh, today we're gonna go in. Well, not today. I mean, it's the same day. I just this video. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. This video we're gonna go and just cut the um, next belt that we were talking about the other day. You know, the one uh, the belt with no holes. That's right. So we're gonna go and cut this one right here. And the cool part is the sizing chart is pretty accurate. I'm gonna size 30, 32 max. And these things are pretty much cut to the point where you'll have about eh, that much left over, maybe. I really like to play it by ear and, you know, play it as safe as I can, like in case I decide to, you know, you know, uh, girlfriend leaves you and you decide to get fat because you don't feel like being skinny anymore. Um, for, uh, just to be safe, I'm going to be cutting that to 34, uh, where is it, 34 right here. Basically what that'll do is that'll give me somewhere around, almost all the way to about halfway right there on the belt buckle and that's what I like. I like having a little bit of extra slack just in case, nothing crazy. That's about a good three or four inches right there in case you do decide to bloat yourself up to like a... 37 38 but uh, like I said I like having belts that can change or like other other people can wear in case they do like my friends or whatever and they're short on a belt so as long as my, my friend isn't super huge uh, 38 will have to do let's go and cut it okay, so I cut it right there I was doing it 34 I came out like a little bit under 34 I did like a crappy job you can actually just see 34 on this side oh sorry that's the 50 right there so um, remember guys, when you do cut it, make sure you measure yourself out right because this is a one-time cut. <laughs> it doesn't come back on once you cut it off. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and singe this right here. I can't do it. I got to do everything off camera because I am using one hand to hold the camera. Slash phone. I'm getting a camera, guys. I promise. But uh, I came back. I singed it pretty good. That's the end result. It's not super straight. I, I try to recommend to make sure it's as straight as possible. So... Um, yeah, I think I think it's ready. Let me go in and see what's up. Let's see what happens. So, you know, guys, I'm not trying to show you a picture of my crotch or you know my my junk down there, but this is what it looks like right here. It fits really well. I did the 34. Again, I'm a size 30 and Levi's 31. Do you have a 31? 30. So I'm a 30 and Levi's, and I have about that much. So the, don't look at my crotch. Don't look at my crotch. Of that left over, probably about seven to eight teeth. Maybe even six. And this belt book is really nice, guys. It's like not like the cheapo kind. It's like camera's upside down, but it's a nice belt buckle. It doesn't stand out. And this belt is actually pretty rigid. I'm posting up some pictures right now of me wearing it. But as far as the one-hand operation, check this out. So take it as good as I can, as close as I can. So just a little latch, and that's how you push it. Where's the Where's the latch? Give me the latch. Okay, so see. So I can literally just take this off. If I had two hands, I'd be able to do it, but one hand still works. Check that out. Pretty cool. And then once you're ready to go, they like said even lazy people could do it. Bam. Ready to go. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's nice. I'll be doing a test on it, letting you guys know what I think about it as far as like for a gun belt. And uh, like I said, guys, be really careful because once you cut it, it's done. The material is really good. Uh, comparing it to my my Aegis belt that I have, Aegis, I don't even know what to call it anymore. It's on my pants right here. Right here, compared to the thickness on that, it's going to be about, um, the layer on this one is imagine one of these, and that's probably what, they, that's probably what the, the old Aegis probably had before they did the double layer. That's basically what this is. It's rigid, it's not super rigid, it's just rigid enough. Like, uh, basically like a, like a little, a real decent, nice, uh, riggers belt, basically. That's good. Look, check it out. Not really much flex. A little bit of flex, but it's thin enough where it can, you can manipulate it enough. But I'm going to be wearing it for the last, next couple weeks. Let you guys know what I think. And uh, I will be releasing a video uh, shortly after this one, as far as like, maybe like, a day or two, about uh, I had to go to Boston, and Boston is super anti-gun, anti-knives, anti-everything. So I'll let's show you guys what I did to my bag. I actually converted my, my regular backpack into a survival bag. So I completely took everything out and um, turn it into a survival bag and I'll show you guys how I did it pretty much on the cheap under like a hundred dollars and it'll kept me safe enough in my mind to be like oh if anything happens plane goes down uh, we're good to go for at least a couple weeks so um yeah I'll, I'll get into more details about it but yeah guys thank you for watching appreciate you guys watching this uh, little uh, next belt uh, thing I had going on right here so uh, let me know what you guys think of the belt uh, give me some comments and check these guys out. I mean, shit, this is pretty good. I have no problem with it. Um, let's get on the back. Ooh. 
I did not know that you could also add four inches to that size on the 50. That's pretty cool. Okay. So uh, Made in America, next boat, check them out. They're pretty cool. Um, I'm happy with it. I'll let you guys know what I think about it and how it wears over uh, me using it. So let me know what you guys think at the bottom. Please like and subscribe and uh, hit me up on Twitter, guys. I'm bored. I just keep tweeting about stupid stuff. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. I got to go. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Peace.